Hi, this is Cynthia and Jordan. Hello. We are doing some uh, wine glass pours today with uh, acrylic paint. Um, we have already done six of them. Jordan has done four over here and I have done two here. Uh, and we are going to do our last ones. Uh, the last ones I am going to put in um, uh, blue, white, and black. And uh, I'm going to do a base of white. And I'm just wanting to, to see what this is going to look like. I have a very shimmer. This is just a plain white. But I have a very shimmery blue that I love. Um, that I'm going to go ahead and put on after this. So I don't know if anyone has seen my prior, the prior videos of Jordan and I, but we have two separate techniques in the beginning to get rid of um, glass spots uh, as the paint is pouring down. Um, if you pour enough on it, trust me, it'll do. Um, it will cover it, but we try and save as much paint as we can because uh, we do a lot of this. So we end up kind of um, trying to cover the base or those glass with um, with the straw. And this is how it's done. So you just let the paint drip down. And then just take the natural flow of gravity and push it down. Jordan and I do this at different stages. I prefer to do it right from the beginning and have a base color where Jordan does it with all of them mixed together. So there's just a couple little spots here. And I have got them. Now, <laughs> okay. So let's start with the other colors. Now this is some of my favorite, oh, I just love this blue, I tell you. I love it. And I am just gonna put a dollop of black. I'm not going to do too much, but another dollop of blue. And then push it off. And the reason we do this is because um, I don't want a whole lot of paint sitting at the top because it takes so long for it to die. Look at all the cells forming. There is um, nothing but uh, Zinsser Medium. I don't have any silicone or anything in this. The blue is just, that's interesting. That is very interesting. So I'm just going to leave it like that with the black. I'm not going to do any more. Just wanted an accent color. Okay. Let's see how that goes for a minute. Or a second. You want to come around this side? It looks so different from this side. It's like more white. So cool though. So eventually that'll probably drip right down. I see a spot that I missed and I'm going to try and get it now. <laughs> well, you might think that, uh oh, I just screwed that up. But as you can see, the paint is still coming down, so it will cover that spot. That looks so cool. It really does. I think it does, anyways. What do you think, Jay? Mm-hmm, that looks amazing. Yeah, that is definitely neat. So I'm gonna do my next one while we let that while we let that drip. Alright. Oh pfft. getting a little over ambitious there trying to cover the whole thing. All right, 
Now because I'm using acrylic paint, or uh, we're, we're using acrylic paint, I don't concern myself too much with the bubbles because they will eventually drip themselves out um, or pop before that even happens. Because so, I'm seeing some in here. But if you do have a, a, an idea of wanting to get rid of them, what I just do is just give it a light blow and they all pop for some reason. So here I'm going to just cover this. <laughs> it's got to be the funniest part of doing this whole thing. And, I, and I'm allowing myself to be filmed. That's just crazy. All in the name of art, right? All right, I think I got them. Ah, there is a, a large... Have I got it? Now I do. Okay. So that was my white base, and now I'm going to put on the colors that I put on before, like the blue. Get to see that. And remember, I just put a dollop of black. Just a just a little one and put the blue back in the middle as well and that's basically what I did now I'm going to blow a little bit off there that seems darker just gonna oh wait the cells are forming it's so interesting how like the white just starts to pop up here and there. I think it might be bubbles. Look at that. They're just... Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> there are little bubbles in there and by blowing on them, I popped them and now it looks like a night sky. I can't say that that's not the coolest thing because I find it to be the coolest thing. You know what? As much as I like it, I know what's going to happen here. It's just going to continue to drip down. So I'm adding a little bit of white because this one looks less dark. And I kind of want to do pair them. I want them to be something that you can put together. All right. Sometimes you need to do some, just some... I'm a little bit more, um, I guess, artistic in the sense that I put little drops and stuff on. Druid does that too. Um, but her technique is so cool, it just makes the coolest, coolest glasses. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. That should do it. And we're going to see how that's going to come out. And you can watch as the paint's just dripping down. I got, I got to say that that is like the coolest part for me. And then all of a sudden it stops <laughs> and you have a product. Now, 15 minutes from now, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to, um, if there's any drips on the edge, I'm just going to remove them with a, um, with a stick, this kind of stick here. And, um, because nobody wants those little things on, uh, their lips, right? And then I will seal them. I'm going to use a non-toxic sealer, obviously. Uh, and these are non-toxic paints. And um, see what, uh, see if I want to give them away or how we're going to deal with these. We just make too many. Anyways, this was Cynthia and Jordan. Jordan was filming. Thanks, Jordan. You're welcome. And um, we'll come back when they are all done and show you the end result. Have a good night.